Hi everyone, welcome to this session. I'm so grateful that you're able to join us today and it's my pleasure to be speaking to every one of you. Uh, before we dive right in, I'll introduce myself. My name is Terchi Wanchiku and I'm a product manager on the Local Application Platform team. Over the next 15 to 20 minutes, uh, I will do a brief dive into the, into the new Looker Developer Portal and some of its features and content. And then I'll look into the Looker community, no pun intended, and how you can leverage these resources, both the community and the developer portal, to make your development process easier and find answers to any questions that you might need. Before we dive into some of the details around the new developer portal and the community, uh, let's start with an overview. The Looker platform uh, has continued to see exponential growth. We've seen more and more developers that are leveraging our platform features daily, from our monthly active developer users to our embedded analytics customers, to the number of users on the new extension framework. Our developer users are basically looking to us to, to continue to enhance our platform experiences and make it more efficient to adopt and build using Looker's platform features and functionality. All right, so let, let's set some context. Uh, very frequently, we talk to our developers um, to make sure that we are serving their needs. Uh, we do a lot of extensive research to make sure that we're taking the right steps to serve our developer needs and have full knowledge on any existing pain points that our users or developers might have. The image that you see above was from a research we ran slightly over a year ago. And one of the things we discovered, as you can see from this illustration, is that there was some friction for our developers in researching Looker's tools and capabilities and understanding what functionality was the right one to use for each of their development needs at any given point in time. What led to this? How did all of this happen? Uh, over the years, we've put out a lot of developer content out there with our goal to enable our developers with all the right information uh, needed to build extended data experiences through our platform. However, what we saw over time was this kind of led to information in multiple different places. We had information in our docs.looker.com pages, our Looker components pages, even on YouTube, GitHub, the marketplace directory, and so on. What this resulted in was a lot of initial friction for our developers and our users in understanding and quickly knowing the right tools to use and where to find the right information to get started. So we basically came up with a plan and we set a vision. And the goal and vision we set was to create a one-stop hub through which all Looker developers and users can engage, discover, learn, and adopt our platform features, which will basically help them reduce that initial discovery friction, enhance contribution, and foster a helpful community of valuable content and resources. These keywords that I mentioned in the previous slide are very important to us. Engage, discover, learn, and adopt. And with understanding our developers' problems and existing pain points, we launched the new Looker Developer Portal, which is available at developers.looker.com. The Developer Portal basically consolidates all of Looker Developer content in one place. So you don't have to go to multiple places to find developer content anymore. We now have a developer hub that contains all the relevant information that you need for your development needs. So we have pulled in content across from our marketplace information and marketplace directory, uh, our docs pages with a detailed breakdown on things like embedding, our APIs, our SDKs. Uh, we've brought in components as well from components of Looker.com, now right on the developer portal. And then we also have the Looker community, which is accessible as well from the developer portal. All of these content is now in one view. One of the things I also want to highlight here is we have the all new API Explorer, which I'll talk about in, in a little bit, which is our significantly enhanced interactive API experience uh, reference documentation. And we've baked that right into the developer portal. So when you look at some of the things we just talked about briefly, what the developer portal now enables is reduced friction for our developers in getting started incentivize this adoption since you know you're finding the right content now uh, and overall you know it enhances the overall experience for our developers as they leverage our platform tools and platform functionality so this is just a quick you know gif image of, of leveraging the looker developer portal as i mentioned we have all content across our api docs embedding actions extensions components the marketplace and the local community in one hub. I'll just do a quick dive into some of the high level features and then we'll look at the community in a second. 
Um, I'll start with search. With the new developer portal, you can search across all developer content, which is basically something that our developers haven't been able to do in the past, right? You have all these, these developer content consolidated in one place, and you can now search across all of it to find the right information right when you need it. One of the important features as well that we've added to the developer portal is the new API Explorer. Um, the API Explorer is our next generation interactive API reference documentation. It introduces significant improvements to our old and legacy API docs. It's much faster, it has a more responsive UI, it has improved usability and performance. So our developers are able to much more easily browse, search, and experiment with Looker's REST API endpoints. And the API Explorer also includes code examples uh, in our supported SDK languages. Again, just want to reiterate, the API Explorer is baked right into the new developer portal and allows our users and our developers to be more efficient as they go about developing with our, with our platform. So we talked about the developer portal. One of the key things that is important for us is, as well as bringing all our developers together, bringing our users together and helping them find the right information. And that leads us to the Looker community. Uh, the Looker community today is directly accessible from community.looker.com, but you can also find this directly from the developer portal. Today, it does link out from the developer portal, but very soon we'll be taking steps to basically pull that in directly so you're staying in one place. And, and this community basically provides a community, obviously no pun intended, where Looker developers and indeed all types of Looker users can join relevant groups, they can stay up to date on what's new, they can learn about upcoming events, uh, ask questions, and find answers to any questions they might have. So once you land, uh, right in the Looker community, the best way to get started is to set up your profile. It basically takes a few seconds. When you set up your profile, you log in. And then after that, you can introduce yourself in our introduction forum and then familiarize yourself with all the community features. Now look at some of those community features now. One of the main features that a lot of our users use to leverage the community for is staying up to date on Looker events. Uh, we keep the community up to date on upcoming Looker events that are happening so that our users and our developers can attend events that provide more in-depth knowledge on Looker's products and features. For example, we just hosted the, a, our platform developers group virtual meetup. And one of the things we dived right into was the new extension framework and basically how we could be leveraged to significantly improve uh, development efficiency. A very great session. In addition, the community also has something we call the kitchen table. Uh, which is simply a collection of product knowledge that we have curated across multiple different kinds of topics that are relevant to our Looker users and our developers. This includes technical tips and tricks and common account questions for all our users and our customers to explore. All right, so uh, the community also has groups that you can join and discover, and you can find other members in the community that may be interested in the same topics that you, you are interested in. Uh, some of the examples I have in the screenshot here, you can be part of the Early Access Platform Group or the Platform Developers Group. And in the future, we'll be adding more and more groups to this community so you can find more like-minded members who are interested in the same Looker topics that you are interested in. And now for information that you might not readily find in either the developer portal or in the community, you can definitely create a topic. So if you don't see an existing topic or question and you need to have that answered, you can create a topic and ask questions to the community. And when you create those questions and, and topics, you can get those questions answered. It could be someone in the community, so a community member can answer that question, or someone internal to Looker might be able to answer that question as well. What we envision is that as the community grows, we expect to see more growth in the engagement of our members, and we'll be continuing, it will continue to take significant steps uh, to enhance this developer and community experience so that our users can find any information they need when they need it, either using the developer portal or asking questions and engaging with our community. All right, so now some final key takeaways from this session. One, the Looker developer portal provides a one-stop shop for all your developer content needs. And it's available today at developers.looker.com. And then finally, the Looker community hub, which is a place to ask all the questions you might have, interact with the Looker developer community and stay up to date on upcoming events. And that's all I have today. Thanks for spending the time and, you know, hanging out with me. 
and I hope you enjoy the rest of your session today.